Hello. What's up? Hey. Greetings from Zephyr Hills. What about today? What's going on, Eli? How you doing, man? Did you hear what he just said? What did he say? Today, my bike. He said he's rode his bike today. Very cool, man. Well, yeah. Very cool. Well, we, he, we went to today. Said we went to eat. Yeah. Uh, Did you have some good food, man? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Where did we go to eat? I'm going to play call again. Uh, Says, what's the place called again? Chick fil A. What is that? Chick fil A. Ah, did you get chicken nuggets and fruit fries? Mother cheese. Chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. Oh, macaroni and cheese. That's always good, too, buddy. They make some good macaroni and cheese there. Oh, I know. I know. Mm, I got my camera set up a little bit different. Got my lighting up a little different. Hopefully, it looks better. Well, you know, I changed my lighting. Yeah. I'll have to make you an equal for a second to see. Well, it looks better, but I can't see anything back there. So, like, poster. Who's that poster of? This one? Yeah. It's uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a big old evil looking Cheshire cat up top. Yeah, man. From the game, Wallace. Good games. All right, so. My cat. Guess what I did during the day off? <laughs> what you do, man? I bought <laughs> brushes. Some new brushes. Woohoo! <laughs> What do I win? <laughs> <laughs> so, <Very cool. clears throat> this one is a synthetic like the flat. All right. But it's a round because mm -hmm. I was, the other rounds that I have, the one that I, this one is too much texture. So, I wanted right. something I could be soft with. Cool. And cool. the other the other ones that I have that are this size. Yeah. They are old, short handled, and kind of worn out. Well, uh, and then I got a little bit smaller of one. All right. Hell yeah. Bye. And then I also got uh -oh. a very small liner. Very cool, man. So that is, like, I can do very, very fine detail work with this one. That'll come in very handy. In the yeah, that's what, that's what you would do your signature with. But also, like, on this guy, there's only really very, very light spots of wheel. So not only did I buy them, I bought Prussian Blue. woo -hoo! All right. Prussian blue is an interesting story. It hasn't always been around. Oh, no. It started huh. showing up in, the, I think, the 1800s where, um, <clears throat> like, Monet and the Impressionists started. So, But All right. the, the thing about it is it, it almost feels like it's got a, a touch of gray and green in it. Okay. So it's just enough off of a blue to not be this bright, bright blue. Right. On. So I'm going to use this blue. I thought, you know, that's a great blue to use in the sky to darken it up. Yeah. Versus yeah. Washing it with the green, which really right. sucks because I want to wash something with that green, but I don't think this is a painting to do it with. Right, right. Maybe the next one, maybe the one with the insanity stuff is we do that. There you go. Sounds and good. then look, I got my little tube of white to waste. <laughs> yeah. Make sure yeah. you use it up first. Mom black. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to use Prussian blue. 
and then mix it with white to get the tones, the, the lighter tones. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I need to, then... I'm still can... listening. I'll be right back. I'm <laughs> listening. If I need to, I'll find out early enough that I can change um, to ultramarine blue. All right. But that will be during the mixing and the, the glow color in the skin. So I'm using the bone black um, mostly mm. as a graying agent. Remember what we right. talked about when we're in the nighttime, almost everything is really gray. Right. True, true. And I can get away with using hot and cold colors, but in reality... Most most everything is going to be gray unless firelight's hitting it directly, or right. or it's a really really bright full moon. Yeah, and I've got kind of both of them going on in this picture, but we know that honestly, if this guy was in that kind of firelight, everything would just be black behind him. Right. True. You wouldn't really see all that but this is for dramatic effects so all right so that bone black will be mixed with this white if i can get this white open i think it's so weak now it's really weird not a sponsor <laughs> what yeah right <laughs> golden's not a sponsor of me either more is the pity <laughs> but hey Maybe one day. To it drink. would be awesome. You know, like I said, this is what I'm using exclusively now. Right. On. And, you know, it wasn't exclusively till recent. Like, I only just did maybe, maybe two paintings with it that I really, really said, you know, this is what I'm going to work with. <laughs> this is also not a sponsor. He's getting himself set up. Yep, cool. Yeah, yeah. That is that what I am doing as well. Yeah, it sure is. Me too. <laughs> and then, you know what this is. Seeing it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have to see it. It's only, you know, I I think mostly later on in the painting that's what's going to be. <laughs> right on. So, I guess I'll start with the new round. <laughs> Woo -hoo. You hear that breaking sound? Yes. Sounds like I'm breaking wood. That's because they come very stiff like that. Right on. And it's really weird. I kind of like the fact that they don't with uh, synthetics, but this synthetic was. It almost implies that somebody was messing with it. But you saw me take the tube off of it, and yes, I don't think anyone could put that tube back on it without bending the bristles. I've tried. <laughs> so I was checking out one of the brushes. All right. Uh, when I was buying them. I, I picked it up and looked at it, and, <laughs> and somebody had cut the bristles off the side. So it it actually had to spread out, and they trimmed it, which, if it's my brush, that's fine. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pay for a brush that had that happen. Thank you. Because no if you do that, chances are... That's going to fall apart quicker. It'll come right. out of the ferrule faster. Well, that's kind of crappy. Well, that's why I didn't buy it. Right. Keep glass. Oh, boy. Do I get, get a discount for this? On them. What? You drop something? I said these glasses are filthy. It's like somebody dropped something on them. 
For some uh, reason, I have a hard time cleaning black glasses. I can break the lenses out easy enough, though. <laughs> Get you a nice microfiber rag. I it just... No matter what I use, I, I just don't get it. I don't know mm. if, like, my finger strength hasn't returned, you know? Right. So, you know, it's better in my right hand than my left hand. But All right, so the Prussian blue. Oh, that's that a color? Nice, yeah, that's a nice color, man. I like it. And this is... What I want to use for a derivative and what I want to use for the sky. All oh, right. So, and then I'm going to use some foam black in this. That almost creates a Payne's gray and then some white. Very groovy. And that's too light. Ah. Well, this is what's going to be the. I'm kind of trying to mix up a white to a dark to white fade. Yeah. Yep, I got you. Suppose I better take the cap off. Your wonderful water. Hmm. My trusty water, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't leave home. I got to remember not to stick this end of the brush in my mouth while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> I, have, I have a habit of it. And one time I did that and I had the ink on it because our, our paint on it because I had dropped the paint, right? Uh-huh. And I thought I learned my lesson, but I, I did to be careful of not having the paint on the back of the brush. But these right. long stem brushes, I put the brush under the brush in my mouth and turn and like swipe paint across my hand or bang in <laughs> the camera stand. Right. Hey, you're getting into your work. That's all, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> actually almost pure. Better, 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 better. Better, 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 better. Any luck on the job front? Well, if I don't hear anything by Monday morning, I'm calling them Monday and I'm going to say, hey, what's up? I think they're just waiting on a background check. It usually takes two to three days. It ain't like they're going to find something because I ain't been in no trouble. So. Right. It's amazing that with the state of, I don't know how it is down there, I guess, up here, they're looking mm -hmm. for help everywhere, like everywhere. Oh, that's the way it is here, too. You can't go someplace that doesn't need some kind of workers. Right on. <clears throat> it's because so, everybody's working from home nowadays, man. Well, that and people don't want to work. Oh, yeah. yeah. There, there's a lot of people that are <clears throat> that could be working but don't work. And then... Uh, What's up, Grandma? They don't want to do like here. They voted to raise the minimum wage. Like okay, idiots. Because when you raise the minimum wage, you also raise the cost of living. Because now you have more money to spend, so they can charge you more, and that's exactly what they did. True. The rent went up. Everything hmm. went up. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, uh, all right. Joe had a really good day at Free Comic Book Day. I forgot that was today, actually. 
or I don't went and tried to find a comic shop. He said, made some money, got some orders, and met some awesome people, both customers and industry people. Cool. That's very cool, Joe. The Marvel gentleman who critiqued me told me I have a future for sure. I just need to stick with it. What Marvel gentleman? Don't know. Well, I know Sean Gordon Murphy lives around here. All right. And he's going to do his own. Have you ever seen Tokyo Ghost? Tokyo Ghost? Oh, I take it you haven't. No. Well, you're going to be in love with that once you see it. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to check it out. It's kind of like time. it's kind of like anime meets uh, Mad Max. All right, but you know the anime futuristic settings. Yeah. Okay. So oh, a, the, the gentleman you talked to, it's uh, Michael Kelleher. Michael Kelleher. Kelleher. All right. I'm always messing with that is. Things. I don't know who that is. Do know, man. No, like I, I'm, I'm honest with it. If I know somebody, then I do. If I don't, I don't. There's right. a couple of comic artists that live around here. One of them I don't know that, and he does, has done some work for Marvel. Okay. Um, I know Sean Gordon Murphy because he worked in different places. He's done Batman. He's done some Marvel work. He's done. Like Tokyo Ghost was really good. He did uh, something Jesus, but it's like <clears throat> very anti-Jesus. <laughs> right on. Punk rock Jesus, I want to say. I don't know. Well, I, I realized that you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> there, let me give you some room, okay? Now you can What's really on. annoying is that he's pretty good. Like he's interesting as a cartoonist. Um but he's very political. Like right. I would love to see some non political artists out there. Right. So I can enjoy something without having to hear that shit. Right. Hey Joe was, saying, Joe uh, saying uh I'm also going to be two, doing two pages for a comic called Witch Hunter by some point. Very cool, oh, Joe. I don't know. That's cool. Is that an existing comic, an independent comic? I believe it's independent. I'm not sure, though. Well, I'm asking him. <laughs> right on. He would know if he's going to do some pages for it. Says, uh... Michael did a lot of work for the How to Do Comics, the Stan Lee way. And, uh, Stan Lee way? The Stan Lee way. You mean how to, do comic, uh, how to draw comics the Marvel way? Because that was, that was uh, John Buscema, really, was John Buscema and Stan Lee. All right. And the Witch Hunter is an indie comic. Which yeah, I kind of had that feeling, but... I like any comics. Those are the hungry make, guys, man. I didn't want to make any claims. Like I like I said, I had that feeling. I just didn't want to make any claims so I knew. Right. He said, ha, ha, ha. There's two books, I guess. Huh? Joe said... Uh, I, yeah. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know of any other one. Like, that's a new one to me. Stan Lee wasn't an artist. He was an editor. Oh. And he wrote Purple Prose. <laughs> his, okay. his prose worked much better when he spoke it. Mm. Right. But that prose, like if you're trying to read it, is ridiculous. <laughs> Very cool, man. Yeah, definitely not trying to take anything away from you. 
or your experience or the artist, because I have no idea who that artist is. So, hints and do comments. Just reading comments. Huh? Just reading the comments. Two comics? Oh, hard to do comics. Well, yeah. Stan yeah. Stanley did one good thing for comics. He was he gave comics a face. Yeah. Like there was really nothing prior to him that made people associate with comics. Like comics were just a magazine or kids stuff. I a lot of people just thought it was kids stuff. Right on. And then Stan Lee comes on the scene and Stan started putting Stan Lee Presents all over the place. Stan Lee was way back started. He was the Hugh Hefner of comic books, man. Stan Lee started when he was like 12. Yeah. <clears throat> right on. If you really want to. Examine. Early comic books. You can't do it without examining Will Eisner. Will Eisner was around before comics were comics. He was right. literally doing comics for the military. Uh huh. Because that was one of the campaigns that they did to get kids to join during World War II. Right on. If they only knew. Jack Kirby and John did all the work, and others he don't know. It's funny you mentioned Will. Michael told me to look up, look him up, and do my homework. Well, yeah, Will Eisner's got three books on doing comics. And like I said, he literally has been doing comics since when there were first comic strips. Like right. Prince Valiant and stuff like that. Or <clears throat> he had successful comic strips before World War World War II. Um he started his own company before World War II and then went off to war and then ended up drawing basically war propaganda to get uh, the younger guys to join. But he knows everything about comics. Like, have you, for instance, and I've said this before, I don't know if you were, I don't think you were around uh, when I was first streaming and did it, but you ever wonder when you're reading a comic why there are certain words in bold and they don't, they don't read like their emphasis on those words. Right, yeah. Like if I you have. read through those word bubbles and, and you read those words with emphasis, it sounds weird. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever wonder why they do that, Ben? I have, yeah. Well, Will explains it. Okay. It's so that you can look at that page and get the gist of what's happening because the bold words basically tell you the gist of what's happening. Oh. So if you scan right. down the page, it'll say a name, an action, you know what I mean? Right, like right. Going, going through that page, those bold words will basically give you a synopsis of what's happening so you don't have to read all the, the small stuff. Oh, very cool. That's better than what I thought. I thought it was comic book Tourette's. <laughs> no, comic book Tourette's would be not part of the comic code. <laughs> I have... Uh, I have my window open a little bit, so I have no idea if we're going to hear traffic. Earlier, when I was setting up the camera, I heard geese. 
<laughs> wow. My toes are geese. Yeah, you, my mom, or mom, Amanda asked him if he wanted to ride to the store with her. And that's usually a pretty quick yes. And he said, no, we wanted to stay home with me. I'm oh, like, you're going you're gonna to go on the live stream with me? And he's, he talked to Uncle Joe. And that's why he did. He just, you couldn't hear what he was saying. I think he got a little bit frustrated from it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No, it, it, it's difficult to really understand him unless you know his syntax. Right, right. Nobody would blame you for not knowing his syntax, you know? Mm hmm Well, I know when I lived with you guys, I caught on to a lot of stuff he would say. But it's been a while. Yeah. Well, it's still difficult for us to, too, because he's picking up some expressions from other kids. Okay. And then sometimes we're, we're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and and he's a smart ass. So it's sometimes very hard to tell not only what he's saying, but if he's serious. <laughs> right. Okay. Like, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid, the smart ass? No. <laughs> yeah, right. That's like saying my kid's a smart ass. <laughs> She's a little punk. It's, it's funny because my kids <clears throat> are smart asses. They just, like, Kate tries too hard to be a smart ass. And yeah. And the humor of today is <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> not humor very today? funny. It's a yeah. lot of stupid shit. And I can't laugh at the stupid shit. I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> right on. Right. Like, like, Logan, I know, is disappointed because he wants me to just approve of whatever he's drawing and just say, oh, that's awesome or whatever. And I can't, I can't lie to somebody. I can't look at something that's not as good as it could be. Right. And be like, oh, like, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. No, no, I guess you've grown, in, you've grown in your personal journey. And I'll say that, you know. Right. On. But, and you're doing good, but like, I'll tell him. He's got a father that knows all these tricks. You know what I mean? Right. And I'll try to tell him <clears throat> what he can do to get the effect he wants, to make it better, to get the effect he wants, right? Right. No, no, right. I'm doing it this way because of this. Well, you're wrong, but, you know, like I'm, I don't say that to him because I'm just a waste of time. But he's wrong, and I know he's wrong, and that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> well, you gotta figure. He grew up in a day where, in school, you were given a ribbon whether you did good or not, just for showing up. You know, mm, kind of. No, his his school was actually worse than that. They just let him do what the fuck he wanted to, and like, so, oh, you don't want to do classwork and stuff? Yeah, you can hang out and not do classwork, but they're not telling him that they're gonna fail him anyway. Right, right. They're leading him to believe that he can do whatever he wants and still graduate. Right, right. Like, uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know how to break it to you, <laughs> <laughs> except for that that's not going to happen. They're always going to need dishwashers. You're doing great. <laughs> well, he works at Walmart. Right, well. He's, he's happy working at Walmart, and I don't care. Right, as long as he ha he's happy. He did graduate because I fucking made him. <laughs> right on. I wasn't going to put up with that bullshit. You either fucking work your work your ass off while you're living with me or you can get the fuck out. You're old enough to, you're old enough to get your own place. So if you really want to do whatever the fuck you want to do, go do it. Not here. Right. Exactly. <laughs> not here. While you're living with me, I know what you're capable of and I'm not going to put up with less. I hope so. I he appreciates it, but I don't don't think he will. 
<laughs> huh? I said it's hard. sometimes it's hard to be a parent, you know. I mean, it's always hard, but sometimes it's harder, you know, because you know the potential that's well, there. You know, it's not hard to be a parent. It's hard to know the road they're going down. Yeah. Because you've been there. Right, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And have them ignore what you're telling them. So it's not hard to be a parent. It's it's hard to know that they're going to fuck themselves up and not right. be able to do anything about it. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean... That's that is a hard aspect of being a parent, but mm. there's there's easy aspects. There are things that I wouldn't trade the world for, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely. I guess that's why I'm not totally agreeing with that's you know, that's why it's hard to be a parent. But that's it's only in relationship to the fact that I've I've had some not as bad or really good situations with my kids. Remember in, yeah, definitely. remember in North Carolina how Kate was just cool shit. She would do everything with you. She she was excited. She was all about life and all this. And right. Now, now she sees a person to professionally talk to. And, and she disappeared for years, and she didn't. She went from being like my little buddy to not. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's when you just gotta sit back, let them find their way back to you. You know. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks, but you got. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm passing full ourselves. force, full force or nothing, you know. Right. And what? So I literally had to go. I've, I've got to distance myself. I can't. I can't hang out and watch this shit. I can't. Can't see what she's doing to herself. Right. But I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's we like did it to our parents. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, <laughs> I, I, I want to apologize to my mom. <laughs> right. And I know. I know some of the hell I put her through. But that's all part of growing up, man. I mean, I'm sure really? anybody you talk to, and they learning, did, you know, you know, learning from it and going. Yeah, I won't do that. That's like, you know, when you were growing up and when you were the kid, you learned what not to do sometimes just because of what was done. <laughs> right. True, true. So you are now. <clears throat> oh, Eli again, he says. Oh, oh he's going to get, get some water for upstairs. All right. Joe said hi. You got to get over here and say hi. Hi, Eli. Look at my toys. Oh, you want to see? Um, he says no school tomorrow. You want to see all the cool. toys? Yeah. I'm going to enlarge you for a sec. All right. Look, I got, my, Look. I got my toys back here. Oh, he can't see that. Oh. He can only see that one. Oh. Here, I'll show you. Do, 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 do. Oh. They're great. Ah, there they are. You saw it? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool? He says, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he man. Off. Then he walked mm -hmm. off. <laughs> That's all right. He's, still, he's telling you May 17th is his birthday. Very cool. It's a Wednesday. Very Wednesday. <laughs> be there, uh, be square. Yeah, yeah. My toe. Ah. Yeah. Your cat went upstairs to bed? Yep, all right. 
Did you go upstairs to bed? Oh, my cat is. <laughs> oh, the cat is. Nah. Cat needs sleep too. <laughs> that cat doesn't need sleep. That's all the cat does. Unless it's nighttime, and then I'm sure it's all over the damn place. Yeah, no, then it's meowing to get up, for us to get up. Like, 2 o'clock in the morning, if he decides that we should be awake. Sounds about right. That's cat nature. I don't <laughs> like cats. Ah. I used to have a cat named Boo that would crawl up on me, and she didn't have no claws, so she'd take her paw and fucking poof, poof. Until I woke up, man. And then she'd stare at me. And if I closed my eyes, she'd do it again. Boof. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, I'm up. What? Sound like our cat, you are? He's standing there listening to your story, but he's not talking. That's all right. Sometimes it's good just to listen. Ain't that right, Eli? Yeah, yeah. How old you know, you buddy? How's your Monday? I just said you, you didn't have school Monday. Make up your mind, boy. <laughs> have school Monday. May 8th. My May 8th. May 8th. Big gym out. Big gym. Monday. The big gym? Mm-hmm. Yep, Monday, 8.30, uh, school, a.m. 8.30 at school, a.m. Oh, right. Monday, yeah. Monday. Monday. Tomorrow you get to sleep in, though. Oh, right? you're, going to, you're going to a gym outside of school, right? That's the big gym. Yeah, the big gym. So he goes to a, uh, like a workout place. Oh, very cool. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> Huh? Oh, it's Topsom. <laughs> I know where it is. It's in the Topsom Mall, isn't it? Very we cool. We've that place a couple of times. How old are you going to be, Eli? You going to be 19? How old are you going to be on your birthday? <coughs> how old are you right now? Something. Not that you're 19, that's right. So how old are you going to be? 20. Oh! Getting to be an old man. He doesn't even like to be called man. If I call him man, he's like, don't say that. All right. <laughs> May 11th, art gallery. May 11th, an art gallery. Yep, Friday. Thursday. Yep, Friday. Very cool. Yep, I saw four. Pretend you don't have people. Oh, he's gonna eat dinner at school. Four fifteen pizza. Oh, very cool. Pizza's good. I like pizza. You gonna save some for me? No. No. <laughs> oh, darn. That's a new I think. Don't care. Don't you care. Put snack. it in the envelope and send it to my house. <laughs> don't share snack. Yeah. Next year in a couple of days. That's next month, babe. That's what I made Yes, after that. That's the next month, not next year. Next month? Yes, yeah. next month. Yes, sir. Next month. Very cool. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's over Monday. That's on Monday, I hope so. Hmm. It's possible. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Maybe, Joe. He's telling okay. you, maybe. Maybe All his, right. maybe his Aunt Renee show. will show up and take him somewhere. Maybe, Joe. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe she'll take him to Shaw's, he says. It's Monday. It's Monday. Very cool. Monday. Can you see that? Yeah. And other than just a couple of dark splotches. <laughs> no, nah, I can see it. 
Oh shit! Okay. Yes, my birthday is August 18. When's Uncle Joe's birthday? Um, no, April Don. April what? 22. April 22. You are correct. May, so May. Good it's job. Birthdays. So May. It's still May. <laughs> yes. My daughter's birthday is this month. She'll be. Her birthday will be on the 21st of this month. Field trip, my tending, tending for wonder, cigar gown. Field trip? The cigar gown. Oh, you're going to the Sea Dogs? Yeah. Sea Dogs is a local baseball team. Very cool. So he's going to the baseball stadium with his class. Hey, that's all. Awesome. He does not like to go with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Almost funny how he is about that. <laughs> he doesn't like doesn't like mixing parents and <laughs> school. Fam family and school two separate things, you know. This is business. This is family. I understand. So we're going now. What saw Saturday? He says Caitlin's working at Shaw's. She'll work Saturday. Oh, very cool. She worked at four days. Four days? Yep, she worked at one time. Hmm. That's cool. My work. Tell you. I'm going to work one. Tell you. Mom works where 12 years. Tell you. You hold down, man. Jump. Where did she work for 12 years? Uh, here, my house. Uh, what? <laughs> she worked at Walmart. Mom worked at Walmart for 12 years. Yep. 12 years. That's a long time. You'll be able to Logan's birthday is October 26th, he says. Very cool. Four days. Come out soon. <laughs> October 26th. October 26th. When I do not know. That's something you have to ask your mom. I think it's... Uh, hmm. Actually, I'll just better not. <laughs> I'm not sure when it is at all. Art store, I think. Yes, we went to the art store last night. What did we get at the art store? Pink one. Paint brushes, that's right. And very cool. What else did we get? Paint. You remember? Trying, this, trying, trying. This is actually the paint that I got, is what I'm using right now. Bon, try one day. Bon, try how fun. What? Fun to have fun. Oh, you had fun on the trip? Yep, we're far. We're being packed. Oh, the train? Yep. We went on a train to Portland, which is like a half hour ride or something like that. <clears throat> because he's been wanting to go on the train, and Amanda's <clears throat> wanting to introduce him, like, Part of her job than taking care of him now is introducing him to different kinds of public transportation. Right. So 
we took them to the train station to get some information and then it was decided <laughs> what is sore that that would be the thing to do to go on a train trip. So we went on a short trip so that we could see if he could tolerate it. And he had fun, but when we got off the train, we walked like two blocks to have lunch. He did not like that walk. Uh, <laughs> it's good for you, buddy. Like, what do you mean? Like, he, well, you don't understand. He rides his bike all over the place, you know? Oh, yeah. Like a two block walk shouldn't have been anything. Maybe he thought he was going to miss the train. I don't know. Can go, go your father, maybe. Friday. Not Friday. Whenever, whenever the. What, what? You have to ask mom. I don't even know. Friday. I'm not making any commitments. I never do because you don't take, you don't take the changes well. Right, huh? Yeah, that's putting it mildly. By the way. What he really wants to do right now is go on a trip with Kate. Okay. But Caitlin has to work for so many days. And we were going to go on his vacation, but when, he, when the vacation showed up, he was sick. Right on. So poor guy was on the couch his whole vacation. Oh, that, that sucks. It's never fun being sick. I don't know. You know, just... he, you know, thinks if he denies it, <laughs> he won't be sick anymore. <laughs> That's just unfortunately not the way it works. We had the last night tender. We had yeah, chicken tenders last night. And one and cheese, whole thing. And macaroni and cheese, whole thing, all by himself. He ate the whole thing all by himself. Must be nice, man. I want some chicken tenders. I want some macaroni and cheese. You gonna share? Wait, share. Bye, 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 bye. Tomorrow, you got pepper. Tomorrow what? Black pepper. Black pepper? Yep, tomorrow. And your supper. You think that we're going to make something with black pepper tomorrow for supper? No. Yep. <laughs> well, if we're having supper here, that's probably a good guess. If I can't eat salt, but I can eat the shit out of some pepper. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. The hard part for me is getting vague. Oh, yes, <laughs> right. So the tentacles are showing up a little bit better. That's good. Oh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> yes, yeah, like it's, it looks different for me than... No, it's no school tomorrow because it's Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I have my meeting Sunday. That's you are silly. No school. Well, duh, it's Sunday. We can drop you off at school anyway. No. No, you can hang out. And wait till school. I'll be here Monday. It's not called AM. It's not called Yes, Monday. yes. The bus will be here at 7 o'clock Monday. But you can get a head start. We can drop you off tomorrow. <laughs> no mask. No mask. No mask. No, you don't have to wear a mask. Such a hard time leaving stuff alone to dry.
And since I'm using this straight, it should drive pretty quickly. And he's gone. He disappeared just as quickly as he got there. <laughs> well, I heard him run upstairs. But yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not one. He's really not one for talking on camera at all. Right on. That he talked to you that much is kind of surprising. I'm flattered. I enjoy it. He loves his Uncle Joe, man. That's right. That's very cool. Like I asked him when your birthday was, I don't know, April twenty <laughs> second. <laughs> April twenty two. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Pretty clear that you actually do know. I think I'm a little bit high with this terminator line on his head. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Not her first little piggy. Well, he was kind of hicky. Spent most of his days through the other city. And then one day he bought a guitar. He moved to Hollywood to become a star. And that's about where you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm stopping it right there. I'll cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stopped singing it and just spoke it. <laughs> yeah, they they can still get you. Oh wow. Okay. You got very limited amount of leeway. Right on. I think it's stupid. I really do. Because nobody sells a show. On music that's obviously not theirs. Right. True, true. But 
they can sell music that's not theirs because they have a show. Yeah, right. Makes no sense to me. It does not make any sense. I agree. So I think I'm going to use two different kinds of blues here. Because this works well with the black and graying out. But just straight mixing it with white. I don't know if it's going to have that highlight look that I want. But uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check it out just a second to see. But I'm pretty sure, like, if I use ultramarine blue with the white, then I'll get that highlight look that I want. Right on. <clears throat> right on, right on. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know. Maybe this will do. Like, I can come over that with the other one if I need to. Well, it looks very gray. Doesn't look gray there. No, it's not coming off of gray to me. But it looks, looks much more gray here, and I haven't added any black into it because I just rinsed it. Which is not bad for every aspect except for the highlight. Because <laughs> we want to have that kind of grayish effect. Ooh, that was stupid. <laughs> My favorite dinner. <laughs> it's invisible in certain, invisible. In certain angles, and I just dunk the brush on it. Trying to wipe off the blue and I'm like, bing, oh yeah, that's not what I want. <sighs> okay, I guess we're gonna have a little bit more light, a little bit. At this angle, then I have to block it with my head. <laughs> so I can't block it. Does that make you blockhead? No, that's just natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Being a blockhead makes me a blockhead. <laughs> I was just born this way. Yep. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's funny because it just makes me think of I was born a poor black child. I was born. I am bringing home a thermos for you. That was a great movie. Well, yeah, we were talking about like we uh, often end up saying, I don't need anything but this, this ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever we're looking for. We only need this. I don't need anything else. <laughs> what? Nigger? I am a nigger. Fox. And then usually I'll go from that I don't need anything else to he hates those cans. <laughs> <laughs> great, great movie. Now that looks good coming down into the browns and the fire color, huh? Yeah, man. Ping. Yeah. Ping is the fucking <laughs> arm that the camera's mounted on. The right on. 
boon. The boon. Maybe if I'm in Hollywood or something, I need a boon. I needed this because the only other thing I had to use for a camera was, or to hold the camera, I had a bendy arm, but it was like stood this far. <laughs> I could right on. Of the picture, so I'd have to be paint. I wouldn't even be able to paint under it with the brush. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I was looking through my uh, light set. I got a boom for my camera that goes right on my one of my light poles. I was like, damn, I didn't even notice it. Or a boom from my mic. Yeah, I've got a boom from my mic. That will not work on my camera, but right on. It won't work. On won't my... work on my camera because my camera uh, screws into the mount. Right. Okay. And my mic has a whole different screw into the mount thing. It's a whole different mount. All right. I can dig it. Can you dig it? Bam, bam, bam. Twain. I'm going to start calling you Mark Twain. <laughs> okay, wasn't it funny as I made it seem? I tried, man. I really tried. Better bing, better bing, 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 bing. Say what, say what. 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 Say what, say yeah. No, well, yeah. <laughs> you should just say, put the friggin' music on. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm just making music, you know. <laughs> me, me Our me. culture, we're very musical people. Making music to get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing now, if, we, if we did parodies and you know change the lyrics then I I think we'd be must told. <laughs> <laughs> I say I think. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. Oh I think I got a pee. Oh, I think I got you. Like that? Uh, maybe. I'm <laughs> 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 not sure what the parody is there, but no. it's, I'll uh, go with it. <laughs> what you do to me? Uh, that's why I would not know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time that I use a real pop culture reference, it freaks the man out. <laughs> He's like, oh, congratulations, baby. That's <laughs> when you look at her and say, what do I win? <laughs> oh, wow. 
could use the pop culture we're sending in. No! Like, some of them, you know, I, I do know, and then some of them I don't know because I choose not to know. You just don't want to know. Yeah, like, um, almost everything that comes out of Cardi B. <laughs> yeah, uh, damn. Yeah, I'm but... not even just talking about WAP or whatever, I'm talking about... <clears throat> I, I got no respect. I got no respect for anybody that admits to and gets away with robbing people by playing the hoe and then robbing people. Right. That's just robbing people. That's just a different scheme of having fucking on somebody. Right. I don't think that's the type of person that deserves affection and, and you know, looking up to you or... Well, in the world we live in right now, that's kind of where people, what people do look up to. Unfortunately. Oh, I, I know. I don't think they deserve it, so no, they don't get mine. Mine either. <laughs> so they don't get mine. I I know of a few people that are basically closer, you know. Right. What the hell would you want to do that? She's a piece of shit. Either that or she's a liar. You know what I mean? And I don't think. Well, so I mean, either. if if I'm just saying, like if if she's not, if she's lying about what she did, or it's a persona or a story or whatever. It's it's misleading the people who are taking that literal, and that's kind of just as bad because it still convinces them to do things they shouldn't, right? Or makes them think those types of things are good or cool or whatever. How's it going over there, Joe? It's still there, Joe. I hope you're not still fighting with your chain. That must must be odd for you. With that. That whole how you doing, Joe? <laughs> What's going on, Joe? No, I I have that conversation with myself all the time. But I went to start to draw and realize how tired I was. I think I'm gonna have to call it an early night. Thanks for the stream. Well, thanks for the stream. Have a great night. The food is popping more and more. Good night. No, the things are good. I think it's very cool, man. Hey, you have a good night, Joe. I'll talk to you next time. Yeah, yeah. We had two viewers. Two. <laughs> well, you know. Take it easy, hang this butt up. Well, I guess I'm glad you went to the Beatles and not Metallica, because you know Metallica, too. 
But it's so damn too crazy these days. It's ridiculous. I have millions of dollars, but still, I want you right. to. Because you. You, you got a million dollars, but that's not enough. Exactly. I want more, more, more. Well, I suppose if you can make it, you know. Well, yeah. If someone was gonna pay me more, I'd take it. Like I'm, not the I guess all of it. what I'm saying, I guess, is that I'm I'm not blaming them for wanting the money or taking the money, but really, you don't have to sue when you you made your living because people created your music underground in the first place. Yeah, true. What would Metallica be without people stake swapping, really? Nothing! When was the last time you knew about anyone tape swapping, huh? Right. That man that found cassettes. She was going through the closet or something, she found some cassettes, like over KLO and old oh, wax and stuff. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Right? That's like finding a track, what, 20 years ago? Yeah. Well, it's like, hmm, I wonder if they will work. <laughs> right? And then I'm like, I don't have anything to even check it out on. <laughs> <laughs> Do I still have my old watch, man? You know, funny, because what I have, I do have a Walkman, but it's not a cassette Walkman. All right. <laughs> An MP3 walking. <laughs> well, uh, strange world, right? I remember growing up. Yeah, did we have anything like that? It's like, wow, yo, you're from Houston, man. Oh, that's space age. That's some, some Star Trek shit right there. Well, <clears throat> I literally grabbed one of them because they would hold a whole bunch of music, you know? Right on. I, every time that the music style changes, I go kicking and screaming into it. Right. I didn't want to go from tape to CD. I didn't believe that it was going to... Day, like a passing yeah. or something. I thought CDs were stupid when they came out. I was like, yeah, you want, you want your shit to scratch. Yeah, that's real smart. Well, that and I was like, they're bigger. You know, like they're, they take up more space. You know, right. like, tapes are wider, but these are it's a lot longer, a lot bigger. And I never, never really could figure out how that was supposed to work. But and now look where we're at. People use CDs as decoration because everything on an MP3 player. Next thing you know, it'll be like Metal Acolypse and they'll be recording on water. Uh, what the hell was I hearing about? Uh, I just was hearing something about Metal Acolypse. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really okay. sure, so... I don't think that's going forever, but I love the hell out of it, man. Well, they had a touring band. Yeah. 
And the, the actors that play them are not the people that tour, but... Right, right. Didn't they do it in like, kind of like the gorilla thing? They'd play in the background and have the animation up on screen and screen. I have no idea, I never went to one. All right. See, that's another one of those things. Like, I can only handle so much fucking drive over. And, uh, blast these. They drive me nuts after a while. Like, do something to rip now. Like, Dave, Dave Lombardo did the blast beat, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Jim Hoagland does blast beat. I mean, almost every death metal band, that's what they consist of, is freaking blast beat. After a while, it just, it's just, it's, that, I have that same problem with death metal. They play so fast that the notes kind of blend. So all you 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 you're really fast, really fast picking, but you don't really hear the changes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Unless they break it down or specifically emphasize those. Same thing with the drums. If everything is a blast beat, what's special? Right. I see your point. What was that? What was in the window? Oh, alright. Yeah. I was hoping that because it hadn't rain, rained in a while that it wouldn't be sticky, but everything was sticky, so I'm like, yeah, okay. Probably because it's nighttime. Right, I'm gonna get that it was night really warm. It was really warm for me today. It was 75. Actually, it got to 77 in some places. Yeah, we I'm most comfortable about 73, 72. <laughs> oh. Yep, you wouldn't make it any more. I've been in a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, Florida, you would definitely be a hurting kid right now. I'd be a what? A herding unit. No, I'd just be in the house. Yeah. With the AC cranking. In the AC cranking, that's right. I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> he thinks he's coming back to Florida, but I mean, if it gets a little warm, he's all like, I can't breathe. See? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, and you want to come back to Florida? You sure? So I switched to the. What's that? I said I switched to the. That's as far as I got. Oh, all right. Smaller round brush. <laughs> you know what I mean? The purpose, is, the purpose is so that I can get into the finer areas. Right like an idiot, I will keep going with the other rush until yeah. I screw something up. I'm like, oh yeah. That's how come I keep wiping with my fingers and <laughs> wiping stuff off. Right on. It takes longer to paint with a little brush, but I can get really exactly what I want. Right, right. And it's not a race. When I'm blending in the small spots, like along the line of the chemical, for doing a fine edge to it. That bigger round brush just don't want to cut it. 
Yeah, well, it did a lot of stuff. I mean, I did a lot of work with that bigger round brush. Oh, yeah. This small one, like if I'm going to use a fingernail, very long, thin fingernail, it'll be with this smaller one. I'll come back to that brush when I do some more on the <clears throat> larger portion of the blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that Dan watching us? The only one that's watching us? Is there anyone out there? Give us a shout out. Say hello. And like you said, sometimes we don't see the... We, we won't see a viewer that's watching. I think yeah, no. maybe it's because they're not subscribed or something like that. Mm -hmm. Which would kind of make sense. Like yeah, we right. don't see them because they're incognito, I guess. Yeah. That's got a good sound to it. What's that? The song that's playing right now. Of a distortion? Yeah. I'm digging it, man. I don't keep sticking to the paper towel without using the white box. <laughs> I guess. This is from last time, too, so I, could, I can afford to throw it away now. <laughs> This wasn't this far away from me, like I have to stretch over here. This is my, my reach. <laughs> so right. that, that reach yeah. to do that work. So if it wasn't that reach, it would probably be a lot easier. Yeah, right.
about just putting a lot of good. There's always one spot we just don't want to take. Well, I don't know why. I know why, because I keep fucking with it, I keep <laughs> so letting it dry. I'll go back into it and try to smooth it out if I do get it to take. You gotta learn to not worry about smoothing it out, that's pretty hard. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> that's the thing, like, painting starts from your vagueness and then builds up to the detail. You think of shapes and then you make them smaller and smaller, so you do the big overall shape. And then you do the next smaller size and the next smaller size. <clears throat> And that's hard to think of sometimes because you want to do all the detail. Right. Right. Detail is the fun part about being an artist, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not the new eye. Is that Satan? I'm scared. We're all scared, huh? Oh, well, you know. It's 9.44. I'm going to go call my daughter real quick. But I shall return shortly. All right, man. <laughs> you don't have to ask for this one. Oh, I'm not asking. I'm just making sure you heard me. Okay? Well, I heard you. I knew that you were going to. <laughs> well, yes. It's kind of it's become a regular part of the show. Right on. I'll be back after this brief intermission.
somebody talk. You know there's two people that still there. There's two people are watching.
I said, nope, I guess we'll get in trouble for that song too. <clears throat> Karen singing the Okie Boogie song. The what? The Okie Boogie song. The Nightmare on the Soul Christmas. Okay. Yeah. What's the last concert you have, you went to, man? The last concert I went to? Yeah. Um, I think it was... Exodus. Death Angel and... Oh, who the hell else was it? Testament. All right. Good. Please. And the one right before that was um, Megadeth. <clears throat> uh, In Flames, Trivium, Lamb of God, and Megadeth. All right. That was the. Their answer to Metallica's um, Monsters of Rock. No, I think it's pretty much the same kind of idea as the Big Four or whatever, but it was mostly uh, I, I went to see it mostly for, I like Trivium, but I went to see it mostly for Megadeth and Lamb of God. Yeah. Yeah, See, man, last concert I seen was Rush. Oh, damn. I mean, aside from, uh, like, downtown concerts and stuff like that. You know? No, well, I, when I say damn, I, I wanted to see Rush, but I didn't get the chance. They had a good show, man. Well, it was cool. I mean, they had a bunch of rotisserie chickens in the background. But it was a good concert. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> Yeah, I wanted to see it because it was 
you know, pe beautiful ass concert. Well, uh, well, I don't know if the one you saw was the last first concert, but that was the one that I wanted to go see. Well, uh, the uh, Clockwork Angel. That was something that uh, me and Kate have in common. Cool. We like black working golf. It sucks, man, because all my memorabilia that I got from the tournament, I no longer have. Oh, uh, that, that does suck. Yeah, it does. Well, you can buy, you can still buy Rush memorabilia, but you can't buy watching Neil Peer play, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> I really, really wanted to see him play live. Neil Peer actually wrote uh, Rush's lyrics. Mostly. Okay. He was a big sci-fi reader. Yeah. In fact, Kevin J. Anderson, who did the prequels to Dune and the sequels to Dune with Brian Herbert, um, knew him. <clears throat> You know, Pierre actually went over to his house a few times. Very good. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess Neil was a really private guy. Right. He didn't do many interviews. And... Not that, you know, not that I can say anything then. Not the most open mouth guy. Mm -hmm. But set him behind. Unless you listen to Amanda, then I'm allowed now. <laughs> well, you know. <coughs> um, <coughs> I thought it was cool to leave a little sci fi reader. Clockwork Angels, him and Kevin J. Anderson wrote the book Clockwork Angels. And they, they wrote a sequel too. Hmm. Very cool, man. It's an interesting story of how they met. Um, apparently, uh, so Neil Peart, his wife and daughter died within a week of each other. Oh, damn. And he took his motorcycle and rode from Canada to the tip of Mexico and back. Along the way, he lost something out of one of his bags, his motorcycle bag. Right. Uh, side bag. Uh, Saddlebag. And it had the watch his daughter gave him and, you know, a bunch of stuff in it. Oh. And Kevin J. Anderson came across it at a yard sale or something. Like someone was... Someone had picked it up after he dropped it and um, took it home. And then Kevin J. Anderson. Oh, hey, you got a question over here. Um, found it. And found the phone number. 
How long does it take to get into this process? Or this part of the process? Well, it, I guess it depends. Like, because I'm breaking the process down into, like, I want to show every part of the process from drawing on up. This is the 14th two plus hour. <laughs> so, 28 hours, more. Um, but honestly, if I wasn't trying to break down every part of the process, just the painting process, we can probably subtract almost almost 10 hours of it because it was two hours for each one of the figures. So, maybe 18 hours to get to this point. But like I said, I've been breaking the process down and I will stop when I'm done with this part of the process so that I can show the next part next time. Well, I've got well, almost two hours into it. There's a little, little bit of talking before we got started. But that's kind of the point of these videos to show that yeah, patience because it takes a little bit of time to get where you're going. So 18 hours is pretty fast. Well, <laughs> It doesn't feel very fast for me, <laughs> but also I've got to take into account that this isn't the final detail stuff. This is still kind of in the modeling stage. It's good to see a new face in chat, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Now correct me if I'm saying your name wrong. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I suppose that could be said wrong. I don't know how. But. Well, you know, from where I'm sitting, it looks like nano no or something like that. But now I see it doesn't know no, no, no. Yeah. Well, I Damn my old man eyes! <laughs> it's really starting to pop. I mean, it's been popping, but it's coming well, together. Too. This color is not that far from the uh, tonal color, but. <clears throat> It's a lot more solid, so it looks a lot smoother of a color. Right on. And this is not the final. This is a coat that I'm going to come through and do the light blue. I'm going to do a light blue ultramarine mix for where the moonlight's really hitting. Uh huh. <clears throat> but I want to set all this stuff up first. Man. I'm going to guess you haven't had a chance to rake into those half cells yet. And if you're reading something on your phone. No. 
You know me, Captain Procrastination. Actually, I've been busy. Well, I'm just excited to see what you're gonna do. Right, right. Me too. <laughs> not, not as excited as me because I keep asking you if you started, and you keep going no. <laughs> well, I gotta come up with something first. I don't. I don't know, man. My brain's been all over the place on that. Well, I'm doing a Cthulhu. <laughs> right. right. You right. could do something like that. You could do something simple, you know what I mean? Well, I... I think once I get this job, I'll be able to concentrate more. Right now it's like, oh no, I know this book, oh, what do I do, what do I do, kind of deal, you know? And I'm trying to keep myself busy by cut, doing stuff that's productive, cutting the grass, keeping up with the house, you know, little shit like that, busy work. Just restless, my mind's all over the place right now. Viewers, thanks, guys.
You want to explain this? They asked why is it called the Gordock Pub? <laughs> so think of it as like a Dungeons and Dragons game. Everybody meets at the pub. That's good enough. <laughs> The pub is a double entendre. The other pub means publication. Because I am also a writer. And eventually I'd like to cover pretty much all of those aspects on the channel. And I also want to make it available for other people to use to either sell or make their work known. But yeah, Gordox just implies fantasy. That looks like a much lighter blue than it is. Good thing about light colors is it always makes you dark. Well, and like I said, these look how you know how much darker they dry. Well, but I am gonna make it a little bit darker. Pretty much, I'm doing stuff that's out of the right way at the moment. One of the things that changes the values is how dark the tone is, the tone turns out of ammo. Right. It makes this look much whiter than it is. One of the things that I haven't expressed with either of the Cthulhu paintings is that octopus tentacles when they're out of the water aren't like round like that. They're kind of flat and floppy and This is groovy, I could be part of your chat. <laughs> well yeah, and you're a mod, so maybe if you open the window or open a
you work on that one. Bad. Yeah, baby. You're down below, man, where you can't see what you're doing. That's better.
What's this? Have to block the light for you to see. <laughs> it's all right. So this is the initial coat, like the same thing as the firelight. All right. I'm going to be blending some stuff back and forth after. But I want to get pretty much this whole thing covered. Every pass that I go over like this takes a little bit more of the dark, dark under painting away. Yeah. You can see the tentacles in action a lot more right now. I, I really like this one. How it fades from the kind of red and hot to the gold. Another artist in chat, man. Cool, cool. No, 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 is drawing and listening to the show. So, hey, we like that. That, that is the goal. Get everybody inspired. Right on. Just come hang out. You throw a word up every once in a while. Let us know you show sure why. Hopefully you take something away, man. <laughs> Let us know you're still alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, we're really still alive. <laughs> right? And if you really dig it, subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah, that's the only thing I can say. Yeah, I'm going to hit that button. Definitely could use all the subscriptions that I can get. Might help support the channel in a way that eventually will stay and cover some of the time. They're trying to solve anatomy perspective problems. They're falling over and over. But it's failing. Anatomy perspective problems. Like foreshortening? What's that? Oh, it's. They said the anatomy perspective problems, and it says like foreshortening? Yep, that's exactly what they said. Yo, oh, foreshortening. Fucking not dry up. Yeah, it just depends on whether you want to hyper extend or not, but this is foreshortened. The fist is coming out, this is the fist, the forearm shouldn't be smaller than the fist, but 
it actually comes behind the fist and you can't see it. That's what foreshortening is, is putting something in front of something. Like you're seeing my hand in front of my forearm. Right. My fingers in front of my palm, my, my hand in front of my forearm. If I went like this, look how foreshortened my forearm is. So. They're like the two white sources, by the way. The oh, yeah. I throughout. love dual white sources. Is that hard to pull off? It is not hard to pull off for me. I will like it. It's like one of, I guess, a natural go-to. Um, but it depends on the second white source. Like, I wanted hot and cold for this one. I'm not normally doing hot and cold light source. Like I'm not usually focusing on the light source when the cold part comes. Yes, and though there is some difficulty because you have to once in a while you have to make decisions um, on what the light source is going to affect, and you're not out in the moonlight with a fire going. So this is that's what's called artistic license. Yeah. So it's not going to be exact. But this is a fantasy painting, so... It's not necessarily supposed to be exact. So you didn't hear back from that job yet? No, nah, not yet. So you said something about the, doing the background track, you think? Yeah, yeah. Which, like I said, I'm not worried about it. I ain't really yeah. in no trouble with it. The job I really want to hear back from is that Coca Cola job. I'll take whatever I do. Something you think better. what? Huh? You think what? I said, I'll take whatever I get. But oh, okay. You said you'll take, and I, I guess I heard I think. That's all right. My mic's got to call away from me. Man, I'm old. Well, you know, I didn't want to go there, but, you know. That's because you're older. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the one that brought that up. Yeah, but I don't look it. Huh? 
I don't look it. You don't look older than me? I look young and spry. <laughs> if we compared our beards for white hair. <laughs> hey. That's on purpose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it drives the ladies nuts. That's what it does. <laughs> Man! You had to point out my gray again. You're my white. It's not right. It's not right. Yeah, the trick is that you can just see it easier on you than me. It's the contrast. Right on. <clears throat> it's crazy because it looks like I have this white, this black beard in the middle of a white beard. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. It's so it's like the gray black hair. Beard part. Huh? I don't have the black beard part. Right on. I'm a blonde, so. No teeth? For real? Wow. Damn. Well, other people may not know. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. I'm surprised the dog ain't in here testing the shit out of you. She usually does. Now you're gonna get the dog in here because he's a fast boy. Oh no, she's sleeping. She's a face Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I believe that ball hit myself before. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think about this. She does this thing, dude, where no matter where she's at, if I'm in her vicinity, she stares at me, dude. And she just stares. Like, like what do you want? What the fuck? Or she'll just whine for no reason. I'll think she's got to go outside and I'll take her to walk around and do nothing. Just walk around. Yeah. Really? What? This is all you're gonna do? Yeah, I better uh, keep that outside where it's a little quiet. You're right. That's a surefire way to make the video. Yeah. Where's your girlfriend? Ah, oh, she's busy. Busy, busy. It's alright. The life of a business woman. The life of a what? Business woman. Check myself. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna go for that little spot and I'm like, eh. This 
Do not do the little flat brush. Okay, the loop on this track is done. Let's <laughs> switch. <laughs> I'm not going to put this stuff on the floor so I can't see it again. Well, you know. It's fun. Hmm. 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 Fun. Hmm. Yeah, man. Oh, two more brushes to the brush count. <laughs> yeah. Although, technically, they are the same rounds. They're just a better condition. Right on. <clears throat> they are new. Lost the viewer. Did you? Or it's lying, Jimmy. Which I suppose is possible, but why? Mm 
Hey, what's up, Brett? Woohoo! How many people are watching right now? I almost think I need to get another one of the youth lights. <laughs> this light. Takes away all the stuff I'm doing in the tentacles. Right. Brett, did you check out the murder bug anthology? What's up, Dave? Well, I guess it's, I, I guess the submissions are due in <clears throat> Monday, I think. I may not have one done in time, but I, I started to write one yesterday. Got almost two and a half thousand words on it. Very good. And all day getting my boy an electric bike for his birthday. Very cool, man. I got one. Fucking great, dude. You're kind to get him. I got a Ferrari Libra. That thing's a beast, dude. Showing up, man. Yeah, yeah. Last time we only had four people show up all together. Right on. I but love you, Seth Lively, man. Because one of the ones that left tonight was there. Go. Yeah. Father, we got it. Go. 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 Go.
like light green and gold or it's a little bit of stuff to do. Hmm. What? Uh, he was talking about the bike they got for his son. He got him an electric bike. You don't remember the right no. That's alright. Very cool little man. Definitely very cool. <laughs> Word the mud what yeah. Making too much noise, Rex. What's up, man? Yum. <laughs> Concentrate. I'm all done with the basic modeling thing. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Have we became the very thing we always fought against? Old message from Sam. Uh, Sam? I'm sorry, Dan. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know why the hell I did Sam. I don't know. Man. My tang all tumbled up. My brain's misfiring or something. I blame it on my dyslexia.
I will be right back. Who are the people in your neighborhood? In your neighborhood. In your neighborhood, yeah. Oh, shit. Any excuse you can name that? That's good, my old man. Okay. Anyway. Delicious. Still not responsive. What? I always wondered what Christy really would look like standing on his head. That question and so many more. Hey, me too, man. Oh, man. Can't chat no more on my phone. It's about to die. Like you just lost a viewer, but that would just mean 
I go in this dive. It's dying, I tell you. Him in the boom. boom. You know what's funny you said that, Dan, but I'm not responsible to play one of the TV. Every time people ask me if I'm Spanish, I'm not Spanish, but I play one on TV. I've had people tell me I'm lying when I tell them I'm not, I'm not Spanish. <laughs> Why are you going to lie about your heritage? Um, not. <laughs> For real, though.
I'm only responsible for what I say, not for what you are saying. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I wonder if no, no, no is still out there. Hey, man. Give us a shout out if you're still there. The cold timber tongue. Yeah, he's still listening. Good job, man. I'm sorry, I'm uh, you're not a him. <laughs> the music is your style of way. What? They asked, what music is your style of way? Uh, creator Mix. There's a couple of albums on. Well, Creator Mix is free music that you can use during streams without getting in trouble. Yeah, in trouble. Because you don't want to get stained by YouTube. Actually, if there's a link to it. In the description box. There should be. Because okay. I've had a few people ask. You're very good. Three hour mark. Is it? Anything under the three hour mark. <laughs> well, you know, that's usually our goal here. Very nice, man. Yeah, I think. Can you see? Yeah, uh, you can see Cthulhu now. Yeah, man. That is the name good with that. You can see Kazoo now. That's a good thing because it's a question, okay, man? All right. <laughs> yeah, but these are the basics. They're uh, way, uh, way down. Well, and... uh, not really. Maybe. If you want to imagine that you uh, sacrifice. <laughs> I was thinking more of a conjuring. Yeah, that's that's kind of my thought was the conjuring, but but hey, uh, that's a good thing about art. Whatever the owner wants it to be. <laughs> that's the good thing about art, man. It's all in the eye of whoever's looking at it. Yeah, whatever the owner wants it to be, that's that's what it is. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I said it's whatever the owner wants it to be. Well, right it could be a conjuring, it could be a sacrifice. Right on. 
dances, gorgeous, er, I mean, I badass. Know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is looking better, huh? Yeah, man. Definitely getting a long this way. This stuff's not going to be right with me. <laughs> Until I yeah. get the highlight, highlight colors in. Well, that'll get there. That'll get there. But I'm still in the modeling stage, so there's a couple of spots I want to hit there. Now that I'm looking at it, oh, I love dropping the paintbrush. I really don't get it. Where are you going to go with the, the green glow? around the eye and we just go a little black. Uh I haven't gotten to the eye yet really. Oh right. It's it's still untouched at at this point. I'm right. doing around the eye. I've got the bottom part done and I did a little bit of the, this bone black around the eye. But it didn't okay. pick up very well so probably a second coat will bring that out. Right on. Oh, mm -hmm. I could definitely tell where the eyeball is. All right, now I, now I can see that there's space of blue in there. I just was looking close to it. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm, that's, that's, I haven't decided whether I want to do like a red glowing eye or a green glowing eye. Right. But I think I want to, I'm going to wait to do the actual glowing part anyway. Right, right. <clears throat> Until after I hit the sky again. And I'm gonna hit the sky with this blue dust pure. Very good. So it'll darken everything in. Yeah, 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 it just makes me want to go right back into the modeling. <laughs> I could spend it. Seriously, I could spend another four hours. And... <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've seen you work. I got to stop with the basics to build up. <laughs> right on. To show everybody else how to build up. So. Can't shoot your wire all in one go, man. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure everything looks the way I want it to look, you know. Right on. Yeah, I think for once I'm going to call it. 
<laughs> Three hours mm, for one. Mm -hmm. It seems Man. to be this is right around right around common time, two and a half to three and a half, but yeah, three mm -hmm. hours is not uncommon at all. Right on. It's Saturday. Hmm. I agree with you. No, no, no. It is looking great. I like it. Yeah, like every single painting that I do, <laughs> I go through a love hate phase. Yeah. I was have to enlarge it on the screen to see how it looks on screen because. I'm looking at it in person and it doesn't look the same. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad you can see most of it. I, I wanted to, I was actually thinking about doing a little bit more highlights on some of the suction cuts that are coming up over the fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it needs it. I mean, once I get the other green in and Yeah. Oh yeah, I said that. What that? Dan, oh. laughing at his comment. I don't even know if uh, if the patron who is paying for this has seen it past the beginning sketches or the first sketch. I don't know how much he's watched or his family has watched of it. We'll probably wait to get the shorter bridge version. Well, well that doesn't look very forthcoming at the moment either. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's feeling like it's going to look really cool very shortly. It's looking very cool now. Well, you know, it's, you're looking at what it is and I'm looking at what it's going to be. <laughs> right, right. Hopefully Again. what it's going to be, you know. Right. You feel that, Rick? Right? Probably. It's probably got to play in the background. So, that's all we right. got. It's looking really fucking good, though, man. Yeah, I'm starting to really dig it. Like this, like I said, I've always, I always go through a love hate stage. Sometimes it seems like it's just not working the way I want it to. Right on. Kind of drives me nuts when it's in that place, but it's starting to come out of that place. Right on. I noticed with me. The more I sit and stare at something while I'm doing it, the more I try to pick it apart. You know? Well, I don't try to pick it apart. Like I'm, I'm very, very close to this. I can see every single brush stroke. Right. You, know, you guys probably can't see every single brush stroke. I can, and some of them I don't want to see. You know what I mean? But right. then I look at it from back a little ways, like, so right now I'm, I've been really close doing all this little stuff because I want, I want the tentacles, I want his head, I want his arms, I want all that stuff to stand out. 
Right. So now that everybody can see very clearly what's going on with Cthulhu, which they really couldn't at some most of the time in the head. Right. Yeah. The whole process. Kind of plus it. The, the highlights are not in there yet. There's still some dark some highlights that are going to go in. I've got to do this guy's robe kind of match that. This guy's somewhat. It's a couple of spots. That guy's a lot less work, but I'm going to do a lot more of that lighter blue highlight on it. <clears throat> you got anything so, else going on the tip? Or you... What's that? Are you going to do anything else to the girl, or are you just going to leave her left here? Uh, the flames aren't done. Okay. Oh. Um, so that's, that's kind of a guess. Right. Uh, right. There's still more stuff to, to do. Like, let me tilt this down some. There's a spot that's thin in here that needs to be covered. Okay. I see. Um, it's not a whole lot that needs to be done, but the edges need to be cleaned up a little bit. This orange needs to be cleaned up. When I can come back through this now, and when I hit it, uh, it'll stand out a little bit more. But those oranges, a lot of those are transparent. Right. So they're, because they're semi transparent, it takes a few coats to actually build up the thickness. Right, right. Very beautiful, man. I can dig it. And it's got a long way, man. Definitely. It's gonna kill the music. Ta-da! Music dead. I wish more people come in and hang out on video <laughs> so I can look up and see my friends, you know. Right, right. <clears throat> um, yeah. I've been considering if I whether I should put some water, like a water level in there. Mm -hmm. But I I I think that will kind of ruin some of the magnitude. That's what I was about to say. You know. Because this is like they're all standing on cliffs and he's risen up. Right. And that would be like way down below. I would think. Well, it depends on where the horizon line is. Okay. Um, we're looking up at Cthulhu. So, right. because we're looking up at Cthulhu, really right about here. Uh, well, actually, I think we're looking right about here. That's the horizon line, right about our waist. All right. Um, so the water probably you would only see a little bit where where my name is, <laughs> like right here. Right. Yeah. And I don't know if that's worth the effort to put in. I mean, because if he frames it, you won't see it really anyway. Right. That's true. That's the plan is to keep it. If he frames it, you want to be able to see as much as you can. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to frame it in um, as he frames it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call that Not about right. 11.30 anyway. Cool. And, uh, then, I don't know, if I get a chance, maybe I'll pick it up Monday night. Just for the little stuff, to right. get this guy and that guy even up with Cthulhu. That way, the next time that I go into Cthulhu, I go in and do all the cools. I really need to put a coat of dark blue over that. That man. So I'm very tempted to put that coat of. Uh, just dark blue in the sky off camera because it just takes so much time. Right. But I like hanging out with people when I'm painting, so. Yeah, man. 
Hey, Chet, thanks for coming by. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for mm -hmm. hanging out. Uh, hit hey, like, hey. like it so that I know that I should do more of this type of thing. Yeah. Like I said, if my channel grows big enough, I probably will do like a sketch or, uh, you know, maybe a watercolor painting or something as, as a giveaway every once a month or something. Um, Very cool. Got to figure out how to do it, but there's a way to uh, randomly generate names of the people that are actually speaking in the chat. Right on. So... Like it'll randomly select one of those that speak within a certain time. And then I'll just do a giveaway to the person who that picks. Which means people gotta speak in the chat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start typing in on chat because I want in on that shit. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Hey man, thanks for coming out, dude. Hey, man, come back anytime. You're always welcome. Thanks for coming out. The rest of you guys, I appreciate it. I'm sure Rich appreciates it. Definitely. Subscribe, hit that like, ring that bell, all that good jazz. If you're new, um, we usually stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8.15 until about now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell your friends. Yeah, bring a friend. Yeah. All right. All right, yeah. you guys. God bless. Have a great night.